Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, a warm welcome to this closing uh, remark from the 7th ABRN conference. My name is Joan Zhang. I'm a social anthropologist at the University of Bristol. I'm also a member of the organizing committee of the ABRN uh, network. So ABRN is the Asian uh, uh, ABRN, Asian Borderland Research Network. And uh, I think uh, as uh, Professor William Wenshendel gave a quick introduction of the history of the network, and this is the seventh conference we have been um, hosting, and this time with a local partner um, at Chongan University with uh, the uh, RCCZ. So um, as a way of concluding this conference, I thought, you know, attending conference, especially attending a conference in person, is not only about the kind of stories we share, about the knowledge that we communicate with each other, but also about the community we build, about uh, basically how we got here. So I thought rather than um, revisiting some of the interesting uh, presentations and talks that we have uh, listened to in the past three days, I would just uh, want to share some photos and uh, show you how we basically got here and uh, think about our journeys together. So, looking back, actually, we have started planning this conference, the 7th ABRN, back in 2019. Oh. Excuse me, sharing screen is important, mm -hmm. as I have uh, get to learn for a hybrid conference. We have to share the screen. Yeah. Yep, so again, looking back uh, to 2019, which uh, you know already seemed like a lifetime ago, that was, you know, before uh, COVID uh, changed the world. Um, we actually started with the excitement of working with the reconciliation and the coexistence in Contact Zone Research Center here at Chang'an University. At that time, I remember we were thinking about what's the next location to host the ABRN conference. And after a, a quite competitive process, we thought Chang'an University and RCCZ would be our ideal partner because, you know, the wonderful colleagues here, the wonderful research that they are doing, and basically the theme of their research center that really coincided with a key focus at that time because um, that was a moment that um, also marked the um, 70th Korean War commemoration and we thought coexistence is a key theme, a key topic that we could explore further using the conference as an open platform to invite Asian borderland scholars to come together and to mark this historic oca uh, occasion of the 70th uh, Korean War commemoration and think about uh, what borderland future um, we will have. Um, if we are sort of uh, basically mar uh, mar uh, marching on this journey together. So coexistence was chosen as the key theme, um, also reflected in the current um, conference topic. And uh, we were thinking about connections, convergences, linkages, and mobilities across borders. Uh, little did we know or anticipate at that time that um, you know um, what happened in 2020 was not a world with better connections or better linkages. Um, we had a lot of disruptions, panic, and border closures across the world because of uh, the coronavirus, the familiar story that we are now eager to move on. So we are very fortunate to have uh, really committed uh, partners um, at the RCCZ who actually offered to host this virtual ABRN conference in November 2020. Um, and this was the poster uh, from that time uh, that helped to keep the discussions going and to help keep the connections among ABRN members together because at that time we were basically isolated in different parts of the world. But I think the interest and the desires to, to keep that connection going was still there. So I think RCCZ and the team members putting tremendous effort to organize this uh, two-day workshop, especially to encourage early career scholars and independent uh, researchers who are not able to travel or attend any academic uh, events to use this online space to keep their connections going. So we are really fortunate that RCCZ supported us in this important initiative. And in the past two years, 
we have been um, working tirelessly with our local partner here, and um, uh, we also started an initiative um, that is the Border Picks uh, blog series, and that's uh, published on the IIAS, the uh, Institute for International Asian Studies, um, based in Leiden, the Netherlands. And this blog series uh, was created with the hope of collecting borderland stories in a time of um, disruption, disconnection, and hopefully we use, again, an online platform to collect various kinds of stories, images, art, um, and just reflections, uh, short pieces that you can share, whether you are doing field work in different parts of the board, uh, in parts of the world or cross borders, or basically just share your reflections on how things have been in the past two years. And probably you have seen some emails circulating, inviting for contributions, and many of you have, have actually contributed uh, initially to uh, these blog series. So we are very thankful um, for the contributors and the um, two authors who have um, published their entries to this blog series. So uh, these two are contributed by Dr. Uh, Dong Se Kim, who talked about the um, fi uh, 533 places, basically the forgotten villages in the DMZ. Uh, maybe tomorrow, for those of you who are joining the tour, uh, you can um, think about the villages um, whose names have disappeared in people's memories um, following this blog. And another one is by Dr. Verena, uh, Verena Lamela, who were talking about stuck at sea, about logistical disruptions that happened during COVID. So if you are interested to read their field stories, please um, take a look at our blog stories. So um, this year, Finally, we are extremely excited to be able to um, launch the 7th ABRN with our committed partners at the RCCZ and with a very generous support from the National Research Foundation grant funded by the Ministry of Education in South Korea. And uh, there are a number of key colleagues who have made this a reality. Um, I think Professor uh, Ki Hyun Ban, who um, was the first contact person when we um, had the bid from the RCCC back in 2019, who is now with, um, I believe, the Korean uh, Military Academy, as well as uh, Professor uh, Hyun Min Ho, who is now uh, with Yonsei University, and the many key stakeholders here at RCCC, uh, like Professor uh, Chong Woo Hyun, um, Professor um, Lim Kyung Hwa, Professor uh, Park Ji Hoon, and uh, Professor Kang Ming Ju. So, without um, these dedicated colleagues and our most uh, essential partners to this project, we simply won't be able to uh, make things happen at this wonderful location. And uh, our co hosting institution at the RCCZ and director, Professor Jung Sik Son and um, Chang'an University, has also been very generous with their institutional support. Uh, who provided this wonderful facility, um, housing for especially, um, uh, I think, PhD students as well as independent scholars, catering, um, translation services, and a comprehensive technical and logistical support throughout um, the uh, three days of the conference. And we want to thank um, all the other colleagues here at the center and uh, the most wonderful um, student volunteers um, I was told they are the sensei nims um, who have helped uh, throughout the process. So they are amazing and spent a lot of effort and time to ensure a smooth on-site as well as virtual experience for all the participants. So to our most wonderful co-host colleagues and volunteer sensei nims, we just want to express our most heartfelt gratitude. So much of my money, money comes and sorry, I'm still practicing my Korean, and I have to say I'm very fortunate to have learned, um, picked up my language skills from my colleagues here in this room. So um, we actually brought some little presents from our um, home countries, and um, this just shows our um, sort of small gesture of appreciation for all the hard work and effort that you have put in. And... Um, um, do you like to have them now or perhaps later? 
So these are the presents for the staff members, for the volunteers, and for all the colleagues who are involved in making this conference happen. Right, oh, sorry. Here, our most wonderful uh, uh, student helpers. Without them, um, the, the, the experience won't be as smooth um, as what, I have, uh, what we have seen. Of course, um, we also want to thank um, the International Institute for Asian Studies for their continuous support and commitment for RBR, R, RBR, uh, ABRN events in the past and for this one in particular. We are very grateful for the excellent work by uh, Ms. Martina van der Haag and Ms. Nadotai uh, Rankra, who have been working tirelessly on this conference, not in the past three days, but for the past two years, who have been keeping contact with everyone, who have been making sure that both the on-site as well as virtual experiences are uh, operated as smoothly as possible. So they are absolute stars, and without them, again, we won't be able to meet here. So this is the uh, first time that ABRN has tried to organize a hybrid conference to accommodate as many participants as possible in um, this transitional period as we slowly move, um, hopefully, out of the pandemic. Uh, we, of course, acknowledge that the pandemic is not yet over in many parts of the world when traveling is difficult, when some borders remain very restrictive, and that's why uh, we are extremely uh, thankful when the participants who are able to travel here and join us in person and here in Seoul. We are very, uh, we are very happy to see you here. Some of um, you are our longtime friends. It's really great to see familiar faces. And uh, many are the younger generation of researchers who we are very excited to meet for the first time. So we hope that we will use this venue and use ABRN as a platform to continue our collaboration and continue our friendship um, as well uh, in the future. So um, in the past three days, we um, have listened to many wonderful talks and presentations and also joined interesting conversations in the corridor, in the cafe downstairs, and the beautiful university campuses um, at Chang'an University. And uh, we want to thank the keynote speakers, yes. Professor uh, Yong Kui Cha and Dr. Frank Bie, and all the participants from different parts of the world. Those who participated online have shown a lot of patience, and I thank you for that, um, and your understanding when we are still fine-tuning the hybrid conference setting. So uh, your understanding is deeply appreciated, um, but luckily I think we were able to fix uh, many technical difficulties with an excellent professional uh, tech team who are always on site to support the process. As you can see, this is um, uh, myung -ho who are trying to uh, coordinate um, how the Zoom meeting can be operated uh, seamlessly. So um, I'm very happy with that shot that I took. And um, uh, we thank, um, of course, all the participants online, um, despite the time zones uh, that uh, they joined us, maybe early in the morning or late in, in the night, and um, just to be uh, you know, among uh, the different panels. So um, hopefully we can continue um, the discussions that we started here in Seoul and bring these into the future. Right, so looking ahead, uh, we are hopeful that border restrictions will be gradually lifted and we could meet again in person in future very soon. And there are two things that uh, we are seeking your support in the meantime. The first, please get in touch. Um, if you think your home institutions uh, would like to host the next ABRN event. So um, do send any of us an email and um, we'll send you more information about it. And uh, again, uh, we will try to you know, provide support, information, and um, hopefully use this platform um, as a way to create further collaborations to support younger scholars and to create uh, basically transdisciplinary and transnational uh, research collaborations as well. And the second, a uh, little request is for uh, you to contribute to the uh, Border Peaks blog series. 
We really want to encourage early career scholars, PhD students, independent researchers who want to have a space to share their stories. And you will be working with a team of editors who would um, basically go through with you and uh, train skills about publication, thinking about how to address the different requests. So I think um, these pr probably will provide a very friendly, uh, low stress, um, the kind of academic training that will be uh, great for the future. Um, and also, this will be a platform, again, to share stories about uh, what you have experienced in the field, your feelings, your creativity. So anything you would like to tell us, um, this is the uh, platform um, for that. So do get in touch with us, and we will send more information on how you could contribute to Border Pigs. Once again, um, thank you very much for coming to ABRN in Seoul. Uh, we hope you will have an enjoyable stay in Seoul after this conference. And please later join us in the closing reception. And uh, we hope to see many of you at the excursion uh, tomorrow. And don't forget, don't forget the film screening later after the reception dinner. And we hope to see many of you at the film screening as well. Thank you very much. And I would like to invite Professor Chong to also say a few words. Perhaps Professor Lim. Uh, I'm Woo Young Chan, yeah, who working at RCCD Research Center. Yeah, Professor Juan Zhang is an artist. Yeah, have a great photos. Uh, I have talked too much during the conference, so. Short, short words, uh, we are at the near end uh, of the seventh AB Island Conference. Yeah, I think it finished uh, in two years. Yeah, two years, over two years. <laughs> yeah, uh, last three days went by so fast, so fast. Uh, firstly, I apologize for inconveniences you met. Uh, uh, if, we ha if we have uh, next time again, we will do it better than now. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, I, uh, I, am, I was very touched by uh, Professor Juan Zhang's uh, closing remarks. So actually, uh, uh, when she said, uh, 정말 감사합니다. So I uh, 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 dropped the uh, tears. <laughs> so we have uh, one more uh, session. Uh, uh, let's go together to uh, University Club, the building 102, and on 11th floor, have a uh, finger foot and uh, talk too much uh, at each other, everyone. Thank you everyone here now. Thank you. Uh, I hope you uh, are always uh, happy and have, have much fun. Thank you. Yeah, Professor Lim, would you like to say a few words? It is I, I'm Kyung Wa Lim. I work for ICCG. And, and thank you very much for coming to us um, and for participating for parti participate in uh, physically the, in the conference. And um, throughout this conference, I, I learned the importance of border studies. Oh can be cannot be over emphasized so um, but <laughs> unfortunately we had a lot of trouble with um, the communication and our technology but <laughs> uh, we hope for your generous understanding with a lot of troubles you might have encountered here. And uh, once again, thank you for, um, uh, thank you very much for honoring us with your visit. Thank you.
Thank, thank you, Professor Lim. Uh, yeah, since we said this is going to be like an open forum, and we want to hear from uh, like your feedback, your thoughts, your experiences. Um, anyone from the participants would like to say a few words? How the past three days were for you? What do you hope for the next conference? Or any thoughts? Any quick comments? Hi, I am Lydia. I am from Indonesia. So, um, thank you uh, very much. Hartlik uh, bedankt for the event organizers for um, yeah for arranging this big event. There, um, I personally feel so much help with um, the cooperation given by Martina van der Haag and also uh, Narutai and also um, Dr. Myungju uh, Kim, which uh, I think I missed their presentations because I was in different panel, but my heart felt gratitude for all the hard works. And yeah, uh, let's stay in touch. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I think our local host has pre uh, prepared uh, authentic, um, really delicious Korean finger food at the closing reception. So perhaps we could uh, all move there and uh, continue our conversation uh, over reception. Yeah, so thank you very much again, and I hope to see you very soon.